I signed for with the Denver Nuggets and my grandmother come to see me play at the end of that year. And bro, it was amazing. Just it was a miracle just to get her on the plane because she's so old school. She only liked to either fly, you know, take the train, a bus or something. Right. But she said she'd get on the plane to come see me. And when she got there, uh, you know, took her bags downstairs, brought her bag back up, put it on the counter, and she comes back upstairs, she opened the bag, bro, and it was like pills everywhere, bro. It was like so she taught taking, she took about thirty pills. I have no cap. Took mm. about thirty pills. So I'm asking, I'm like, Grandma. Why are you taking so much medication? And she's like, you know, I got high blood pressure, diabetes, glaucoma, all that. So when she said glaucoma, literally two days before that, I was reading the newspaper how, you know, cannabis helped with glaucoma patients. Right. So I started giving her the, you know, education on it. And, you know, she was like, well, what is cannabis? And I was like, it's marijuana weed. She's like, Reefer? I ain't smoking no damn reefer. I ain't smoking no damn reefer. You out your mind. <laughs> she said, Reefer ain't gonna do nothing but make me hungry. <laughs> so she shut me down. So next day. She done smoked something before. Right. So she, right. <laughs> so she, she, well, what she told me was she had only she smoked a cigarette when she was 16 years old. So a first cigarette. Time, that was a the joint? first thing. Only, right, probably was a cigarette. A, yeah. a joint cigarette. They used to call them left hand cigarettes back in the day, <laughs> man. You know what I'm <laughs> saying? So next day I come home and she in the kitchen and, you know, she's sitting at the table like this, you know, covering her eyes. And I'm just like, what's up, Grandma? And she's squinting. And she's like, that's you, baby doll? She call me baby doll. I'm like, yeah. She's like, uh, my eyes hurt so bad today I can barely see. So I said, well, Grandma, I got this cannabis. I'm like, the doctors are saying, like, it cures you. Like, why don't you give it a try? Right. And she's like, uh, so we talking. We finally, I convinced her. She's like, I'm in so much pain today that I'll try anything. Damn. So I call my homeboy. He go to the dispensary, bring back Vietnam Kush, what the strain was. We vaporize it for her in a volcano bag. Uh. Had her try it. I take her downstairs, I go take a nap. Wake up an hour and a half later, go downstairs, the door's closed. Knock on the door, poke my head through the door. I'm like, Grandma, how you doing? Her back was to the door, she's looking down. She turns around, tip, no bullshit. She's crying tears. She says, I'm healed. You know, I haven't been able to read the words of my Bible in over three years. Dad. And I go in the room and like I'm looking at it, but she's like bawling. So I hug her and she makes me cry. So now we both sitting here crying. Aww. And uh and uh I call my mom. Ain't and I was sweet. like, my bro. Man, crying with bro, your grandma. Swear, How soft. can you not like this any, guy? Any man? family members cry, I cry, bro. I'm so soft like that. That but, makes um, sense. That makes but sense. But man, we sitting there, man. It's and, actually uh, a strength. Is it? It's actually a strength. You yeah. know what I mean? To be vulnerable enough and, you know, let something uh, tether at your, your heartstrings right, right. enough for you to feel real emotion. That's actually yeah, yeah. a strength. Yeah, well, right. We're manipulated into thinking it. otherwise because, you know, of the environments we have to endure but right. you know as we get older we understand vulnerability is a strength nah for sure yeah. well I'll embrace it right on for sure so so I call my mother and she's like telling my mother like how everything is so bright and she can see again right and that's what started for Vietnam me, bro. Kush, that was a hell of a strain. Vietnam, huh? bro. Vietnam. I ain't been able to find that strain either. Cause I'm like, <laughs> it must cure glaucoma. Cause it, it helped her, you know what I'm saying? Right. But uh, that's what started, bro. And I started educating myself. And uh, a year later, bro, I made my first investment in a, disp- excuse me, in a cultivation uh, in Colorado, a 12,000 square foot uh, building, mm-hmm. and built it out. We only had 40 lights in the beginning. Right. And, you know, me and my cousin, and, you know, he had some experience growing, but not at scale like that. He used to growing in a, in a closet or in a basement. Mm. And we took some ups and downs, bro, for like 18 months, almost two years. We lost some crops. It was Dang. a lot of up and down. But, uh, you know what, man, at the end of the day, I think God really was on my side on this whole thing. Is he, you know, he never allowed me to quit. 